you are actually in the majority of music listeners, according to new figures, streaming on music online or purchasing CDs. Not good enough for many music enthusiasts. We know this, don't we? Who are turning to vinyl records in some numbers. In fact, over 2.1 million vinyl albums were sold uh, last week. That'd be right. Last week. Making it the biggest vinyl sales week since 1991. Uh, Taylor Swift, Adele, uh, Billie Eilish all had their albums printed on vinyl, with the latter selling some 73,000 records of her latest album in its first week. Back to the future indeed. Some are hoping this may provide some relief for the, well, hard hit music industry that's been punished by uh, COVID, particularly obviously live music. Well, joining me, Gennaro Castaldo of the Record Labels Association, the BPI. Uh, Gennaro, thanks so much for joining us today. It's, um, uh, this would have been unthinkable for those of us who'd consigned vinyl to the the, you know, the, 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 the the great dump of the music dump of history 10, 15 years ago. Uh, there's, a, there's a tactile element to this. There's an audio quality element to it as well. Things like sleeve art, cover art play a, play mm. a part as well. But these, these figures are really extraordinary. Uh, they are, yes. Yeah. So the figure for this year is likely to be about 5.3 million. Um, so that's the 14th consecutive year of growth since the low point in 2007. Um, so really, you know, people have sort of taken vinyl back to their hearts. And it's not just the baby boomers that obviously grew up with it, but uh, equally a younger generation of millennials and Generation Z fans that I think see its appeal. And as you've said, it's tactile. There's a, a kind of warmth to the sound. There's all the sort of sleeve notes and, and the art that goes with it. And really, you should see the, the vinyl album as, as a form of art. Uh, I know that artists love absolutely love to release on that format as they still do on cd and even cassette and of course through streaming as well so from a fan point of view we've never had more choice in terms of how we can discover and enjoy and collect the music that we love uh, and the same for artists as well uh, it's been enabled i think by this explosion of british creativity you know we, we can be so proud of uh, of our heritage uh, actually is the, the world's largest exporter of music after the us and and so much of this along with the artist talent has been fueled by record labels who just consistently invest in new talent um, in new music and in sort of trying to present the products in the most desirable way possible and certainly if you look at a, a nice piece of vinyl now um, it's weighty, it has real substance, it's very desirable, aspirational, um, and people have been buying record players as well so they can really enjoy the experience, immerse themselves in it. Uh, and that's the great thing about vinyl, it's very interactive, unlike streaming where you're playing different songs um, and playlists and so on. With vinyl, you have to put it on, you have to sort of uh, flip it over halfway through once it, uh, it ends that first side and so on. So it really brings you in as a fan. And I think fans also love the whole experience of going into their local uh, independent shops or chains such as HMV and, and kind of browsing for their, for their favorites or just buying online. There's so many now I've had to do over the past couple of years. Um, and it's remarkable, as you say, we've had two years of pandemic nearly, and yet vinyl sales keep going up. Um, uh, nearly 10%, we think, this year. So something remarkable is happening and, and people just love the idea of it. 